Hello and welcome back to Man of the Ants Plays Wilson's Heart. Okay, so we just came through this door. I cannot remember what was on the other side. What did we do last? We um mixed up a bomb. Oh, the vampire girl. That's what it was. Lucy's a vampire. Yes, that happened. It's been a couple of days since I recorded anything. Apologies, I have a uh, hair or something stuck near my nose. A couple of days since I recorded anything. Because I've had... I don't know what he said. I've had some issues with uh, Oculus Home and the such like of late. Oh, I can't press that. It's too far away. No, I can't. So I'm a little bit unsure of uh, where I am. Huh. The welcome wagon, huh? Uh, it's creepy. That's super creepy. Super, super creepy. So last time we... What do we do? We, uh, we, Lucy was a vampire. Oh, we, um, the bear. Of course, yes, we set fire to the bear, didn't we? He was almost certainly not gone. I haven't seen equipment like this before. Prosthetics, yes, we are in the prosthetic station. I'm not sure what this one will be for, particularly. That's obviously like lower leg, I'm guessing. That has the same sort of um, knee joint. Why has it just got a hook on the bottom? What's the purpose of that? Very odd. Very odd. Let's take a look, take a look at Creepy McGee here. Oh, those footsteps are a bit freaky. Just a dummy. That's definitely going to come to life or do something. It's going to freak me out at some point. So just remember that. Remember that's going to happen. It's going to be fine. Just going to keep an eye on him. So we have another magazine. It's supposed to be for kids. Door to Dimension Z. Or Z, I suppose. It's an earthquake. Don't panic. Where's the light? Vivian. Crazy. Some sort of tentacle monster? Yes. Good old tentacle monsters. Gonna use Dad's old pistol. And now he's been infected or burnt. What happened to him? I got spat on. Some sort of acid hand, I see. Vivian turned into some sort of tentacle monster. She freaked out. And then she appeared to kill her partner. That didn't cheer me up. Yeah, that's a, a lovely magazine. So we have uh, some more prosthetics here. A full body prosthetic. Who? Who needs... And I can't smash this, can I? No. Who needs a full body prosthetic? Can understand the legs, can understand the arms. Who needs a torso? What's that even for? So the arms are missing from there, I notice. I'm also expecting, as well as that guy, to do something freaky. I'm expecting to be attacked by a pair of disembodied arms at some point. Because that's the sort of thing that's going to happen. Need to find another way. So that is locked. Ah, what do we have here? What so do we have here? So we can go through there. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak. See you later, Woody. Yeah. Don't speak to him. So I feel that's going to give him more chances to come to life. So where can we go over here? Let's start over in this direction. Health B. Very dirty sink. Some machinery. Nothing I can see that we can do. What's on this table then? Oh, a saw. Craft Pro Series. That's nice. Which we can't keep. So I imagine it will go back to its original location. So we're going to need that for something, obviously. 
Not sure what yet. Make a key, perhaps? And what's next if we carry on going left? This one. Ooh. So there is a code we need to get into there. Can't see anything obvious from here. What do we have in here? Compositions. Quite difficult to read through the rift. I am thinking of asking Heather out this Friday. She is so pretty, though. Um, how does it end? I can't... cannot... Oh, I've got no idea what that says. No idea what that says. There's a radio. There's lots of these things that we cannot open. It's as loud as it goes. Can't use that. Feeling very on edge with this, I'll be honest with you. I'm expecting something at any moment to happen. Any moment. What do we have? What is this? No good. Supposed to open that door, I guess. But that's not working. Well, I think I've officially run out of ideas. Officially run out of ideas. Um. Hmm. If we pop back over here and grab that book. Any obvious numbers in there? Not that I can see. No. Hmm. Confused. Confused. What do I do? What do I do? Nothing I can saw. What if we pop back out here then? Um, I don't really know. I immediately regret that decision. Immediately regret that decision. Nothing written on Woody. If we go back out here. We can have a crack at those doors, but I suspect they're not going to open. Let's give it a go, since it's the only place we haven't been. Damn it. No. Although I very much expected that. Hmm. Hmm. I do not know. We're looking for some numbers or something to saw. Nothing I can open here, is there? No. And there were no... They don't have them there. No numbers in here. 
It seem a weird place to hide the code, but you never know. No, nothing I can see there. Nothing in there. Can't smash it open. Why is that coming up as a new place I haven't been before? No idea. Well. Well, well, well. I guess we should start from the beginning. Start over on the left. Nothing here. Can't use my heart. Nothing within reach to utilize. What's this? This is a new one. But not a very useful one. It's not a new one. So I think I, I just haven't faced this direction. I think I stood here facing the other direction before. Um, if we pop over there, is that something to the side of me there? No, I thought maybe I'd be able to punch in and out. But maybe wildly flailing around would achieve something. I don't know why. Again, nothing I can do with my heart. Can't really move around much. Can't... Oh, I just don't know. I do not know. Can't grab any of these. Can't grab any of those. Let's just turn that off. I am thoroughly confused, and I've been confused in this, I don't know what, I just jumped for no reason whatsoever there, I just saw myself appear and just had a little bit of a jump moment, what a pillock, what a pillock, and I can't reach over to get those gloves, no they're too far away, can't open, I seriously don't know what to do, seriously do not know what to do. Oh, hang on. No. Oh, just for a second, I thought that was it. Thought I'd solved the problem. Haven't been here before. What does this do? Nothing. Just shows you the door, basically. It says, you need to get through that door. But I can't use my heart. I don't know. This is going to be one of the most boring episodes so far. I can only apologise for that. But I do not know what else to do. I cannot store this anywhere. Can't pick it up. I can't take it anywhere. If I just throw it. Nope. Definitely nothing in there. Oh, God. Even that made me jump. And I can't... <sighs> don't know. Really don't know, I'm afraid, people. I'm going to have to pop back out there, aren't I? Because I'm just running out of other things to try. It's going to, it's going to be something annoyingly, obviously not obvious. But more obvious than I'm uh, making it. That's the only one you're sort of doing the thoughtful thing on, isn't it? Can't smash it. Can't smash it, nothing comes up. Can't open it in any way. Can't just reach through and grab things. Ah.
I do not know. I do not know. Can't just rip his head off? Doesn't appear to be able to do so. If I use two hands, can I rip his head off? He's not. So I don't know why he's movable. I don't know if that's something you're supposed to be able to do. Can't touch anything there. No, I don't know. Can't take his hat. There's nothing written under his hat. Nothing. Doesn't have any pockets that I can see. Can't. No, no pockets. I can't grab his hand. Can't take off his bow tie. I'm entirely stuck. I'm entirely, entirely stuck. Can't break the glass. Can't break that glass. There is nothing out there. There are no drawers here that I can see. Nothing hidden. Nope, nope, nope. There's nothing inside there. I really don't know. I suppose those pamphlets are too... Yeah, those pamphlets are too far away to grab. I've got nothing. I've got absolutely nothing, people, I'm afraid. So I'm going to have to call this video now, because it's been about 20 minutes. And I've achieved absolutely nothing. Not a sausage. Can't go to that door. Can't go through that door. No, I'm just going to have to call it there. I might even have to look this up, I think, because... I don't know what else I could possibly do. The only thing I haven't done more of is rung the bell. But that doesn't do much either, does it? So we'll have one more look. Can't grab that anymore. We'll have one more quick look in here. And then I will have to call it there because... I'm just wasting time going around in circles otherwise. Nothing there. I can't reach anything. Can't do anything. Nothing shining. Here there is just, that's weird, just the drill but I can't do anything with it, can I? Can't do anything there. Hmm. Over here. Can't reach anything there. I mean, they spin, but not sure if that serves a purpose. The only thing I can really think to do is to chuck this over there. See if I can actually get it on the rollers sort of relatively centrally. No, not there. Nope, that strangely achieves nothing. Which I was very much expecting, but there we go. So you can press that button, but it does nothing. That clock's at least going forward. I'm sure the other ones are going backwards. 
but achieves nothing. Can't use that. Am I supposed to know the code at this point? None of them made any sound like they were the correct number, did they? Again, my heart isn't pounding, doesn't want to do anything. The phone's disappeared, but the cable's still there. That looks like a bug. And I can't do anything with any of these. Can I turn the pages? That's something I didn't try. Why don't I try that? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm such a numpty. I am such a flaming numpty. Five, seven, two, six, four. Left, right, left, right, left. Five, seven, two, six, four. Right. I cannot believe I did not think of that. Right, I've got a couple of minutes. I'm going to very quickly do this. So left. Which way does the class is left, I wonder? Five. Seven. Two. Six, four. No. I'll try the other way then. Five, seven, two, six, four. Am I getting that right? I'm sure I am, but I'm also pretty sure. Five, seven, two, six, four. I'm pretty sure I touch it in the first place. I've mucked up the uh, the dial somewhat. So I don't know how to reset it. I don't know what number it thinks it's on. And that's five. Seven, two, six, four. Nope. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to call it there and hope that that resets itself next time so I can come back in and go... What if I put it in the middle of the two? And then go five, seven, two... Six, four. I'm going to do it the other way. Bit in the middle there. And then five, seven, two, six, four. Okay, no. Well, I'm definitely going to have to leave it there. So apologies, that was a bit of a dud episode really it's just me being an absolute idiot for 20 minutes which i guess could adequately adequately describe most of my videos couldn't it but there we go so hopefully next time that will reset itself if i quit out and then when we come back in another day hopefully that'll all be working and if we do the 57264 code it should just work and left i'm pretty sure yeah yeah, you turn the anti-clockwise first. Then the number's going left. Must be. Okay, then. Well, hope you're enjoying Wilson's heart still. Again, apologies for the slightly dud episode. Nothing much really happened there in those 20 minutes, but I guess that's how it's going to go sometimes in that play Let's Plays, isn't it? Nothing you can really do about it, apart from be less of an idiot. If you are still enjoying it, please do click the like button. It's very much appreciated. I like to know you like these things. It helps me out very, very much. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, which will be... Yeah. So, you can keep up to date with all my upcoming videos and series, including more Wilson's Heart. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Otherwise, I shall see you next time in Wilson's Heart for another VR adventure where stuff might actually happen. Fingers crossed. Can't really do a fingers crossed. That'll do. Thumb and finger crossed. Thank you very much for joining me.